got these, what are they? <gasps> Essential oils. I'll see some. There's a sweet orange, lemongrass, eucalyptus, and lavender. Well, lavender and peppermint. I'm so excited. Okay, let's get this together. I might throw that away. It has a dent, but let's clear this. What do those vloggers do? They just snap their hands and... Oh, wait, I can't snap. Okay, let me try to snap. One, two. <laughs> That's not working. I can't snap with this finger. Um, How about this? This beautiful day outside. So I only have a little bit of time and a little bit of sunlight, but but camera's not working um, properly, so I'm gonna use my phone camera for now. The thing I wanted to talk about is just homemaking. Homemaking isn't easy. Um, you know, not having a nine to five is a blessing, but also homemaking can be like, it can be tiring. But I've enjoyed seeing how God has shown me it's a blessing to take care of the home, but it's also, I feel like, what he's called me to do and to do well. But I always think about, like, how do I walk by the spirit if I'm just cleaning the house? Like, how do I please you, Lord, if I'm just cleaning the house or taking care of things, running errands, you know, getting groceries, all these things. In and itself, doing all of that is a blessing. Like doing, keeping the home is a blessing. I think it's a blessing. And I think that's why a lot of women, some desire it and they can't, but it's kind of sad to see that. But in Galatians 5, um, I was reading it and I just thought about, wow, like God gives us everything we need to walk by the spirit. And in every circumstance, he gave us his spirit. For those who are in Christ Jesus, he gave us his spirit to walk by the spirit. And I wanted to encourage people to continually walk by the spirit as they do anything, whether it's mundane tasks, whether it is at your nine to five, whether it's going to school, whether it's being a home uh, maker, but also being a wife who stays at home with the kids, being a wife who works from home with the kids, being a new mom, being a dad, a single dad, if any single dads watch this, or just as a wife, a mother, to keep your mind sane. Literally keep your mind sane. God gives us everything we need and we should want to walk by God's spirit in that. So this is what Galatians 5, 16 through 26 says. Let me hold the Bible up. But I say, walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the spirit, and the desires of the spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other, to keep you from doing the things you want to do. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. There have been days when I've literally been like ungrateful in my heart. I'll wake up and just the ungratefulness will just spring up. I don't know what happens. I think it's the flesh. Um, it definitely is the flesh. But I'm just ungrateful already. 
And it's just like, where is that coming from? So one thing I believe that helps us walk by the Spirit is to be constantly renewed in our minds by God's Spirit, which we know the Bible is inspired by God's Spirit, is inspired by the Holy Spirit, is full on God, the Word is God. And so in that, I'm like, well, the question that this year and a half of being married and being a homemaker and not having a job, how do I get more of you, Lord, in doing all these mundane tasks? How can I get more of you, Lord, and know you more with doing everything that I do throughout the day? And I mean, when you don't have a nine to five and to those who do have nine to fives, you know, you can structure things around your nine to five usually. I know that as a homemaker, I kind of set the things and there's a lot of discipline that goes into that, but I'm not saying I'm the most disciplined person. I just know that when I wake up, there's some mornings I just, I, I don't even know, like I'm already like tired of the things that's going, like I have to do. And I didn't want that heart. If I'm being honest, I prayed and I told the Lord, I was like, I don't want to have that type of heart. And now this happened months ago when I really was like feeling this. I was just like tired. It was like, I was just so drained and I was so frustrated. And I think still I was getting used to the change of not having a job, one, not being single. And then, you know, it's just a lot of change at once. And so the question was, how do I walk by the spirit? How do I please you in doing these things? But in the beauty of it all, I realized I can please God in doing these things. I can please God in serving him by taking care of the home, stewarding what God has given me, serving my husband faithfully. And now I I can't say I do all these things perfectly, but it's beautiful how I saw how imperfect I am and how sinful I am with waking up and already being tired and ungrateful now. I think there's some back, I think there might be things on the back end to why I felt that. But now looking at it in a different light, I would think about the things I was doing. If I'm being honest, I was, I think I was very religious in the sense that I would wake up and I'm like, well, Lord, I prayed and I read today. Why am I not, why am I not feeling it or feeling the day or moody or I'm I'm dealing with all these things that really are things of the flesh. I mean, honestly, I'm upset, I'm angry or this or that. I have an attitude. (laughs) Now, us women understand hormones and they're a real thing, but no, like, you know, I can't use hormones as an excuse for everything, but I thought about it. Whenever I would do these tasks, I sometimes would listen to videos and podcasts, but one thing I started doing maybe months ago, like, which I actually, I've always done it, but it's something about actively understanding what you're listening to and having faith that God is going to speak to you. I started to listen to the Bible app. Um, I started to listen to the word while doing these things, while I'm cooking, while I'm cleaning, while I'm washing the dishes, doing the laundry. I started to listen to the Bible. I started to listen to God's word and God's word truly renews our mind. He transforms us in the mind and we're corrected in love. We're, I mean, he even gives us commands in the Bible. And so I'll sometimes choose a book or choose something to listen to and it produces so much fruit. It's so beautiful because I'll hear something and I'll be like, no, I want to hear that again. And so I'll replay it. And I'm like, no, I want to hear it again. And so I realized something that I was missing in my day-to-day routine of just, just knowing God and seeking him more and desiring him more, but also having these practical things that I have to do. I was like, whoa, this is meditating on the word. Now, I am definitely an audible person. I definitely love to hear things and and visualize things. Reading isn't my favorite, but I've noticed listening to it and listening to it, I'm like, wait, I want to hear that again and hear that again. So I'll play the same chapter like five times while doing my, my everyday task. I'll call them that. And it's been so fruitful because then I'll be desiring to study it. And then I'll go study and I'm like, wow, so this is what he meant by this. And then I'm just like enjoying the passage, enjoying God's word, but I'm hearing God. Like I'm, I'm, I'm hearing him and I'm being corrected in things and it's fruitful. The Bible's so full. It's life. He gives us life. Like he truly gives us life in his word. I think about it, how in Matthew 6, it talks about, give us this day, our daily bread. But God's word, I mean, Christ is the bread of life and Christ is the word. And 
that's our bread. And I was just like, this is true nourishment. I really was like, this is true nourishment. So I encourage anybody who's a single mom, a student, uh, just a single living life, a single dad, uh, a stay-at-home mom, a stay-at-home wife, the mundane task or the task that you do every day that is your work, even if you are a homemaker, you have a job and it may not actually be easy. The house always demands work 24 seven. The house demands something. The house is always moving and always demanding and calling, but there is beauty in doing what God has called you to do. I mean, keeping the home is a blessing. And I know some people desire to do that and they can't. So the ungratefulness had to go. The ungratefulness for what I'm doing right now in this season had to go because I was like, no, God has given me everything I need under the sun. There's nothing I lack in Christ Jesus. And he's given me his word. It's me being ungrateful. It's not anything God didn't give me. It's me being ungrateful. It's me not stewarding well. If I, if I think, oh, I'm just moping around. God has given us his word and listening to his word is the best thing you can do throughout your day, whether you're going to class. You're changing diapers. If you're changing diapers, anything you're doing, the best thing you can do is, is listen to God's word. Listen to music with God's word. Listen to a teacher who is preaching God's word. Anything that you can do to get God's word in your ear and constantly have that will be a great thing. One thing I love to do is to create music. If I'm reading something or listening to something, I love creating music to it. That's just my way. and. Um, of really just enjoying that time with the Lord and also remembering why, you know, the why will always be Jesus and the fact that he desires to save souls. And so everything that we do should glorify God. And yeah, right now I've been very fascinated with God's will and what he desires and what the Bible speaks about his desire and his will for us. They can be different, God's desire and his will. So I pray that this encourages someone because it it encouraged me when I realized, like, honey, you're not meditating on God's word. <laughs> I realized I was like, I'm not meditating on God's word day and night. And in that, I found so much just joy and peace, even going to sleep, listening to the word and just hearing the stories and hearing even the gospels while I go to sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very short and sweet. Yeah. Feel free to subscribe and... I think my next video will be a probably a what I eat in the day or something. Bye.